What is reality? What is your reality? How can you utilize your reality to live, create, manifest, and live the best life possible for you, and especially live on purpose? So welcome back to another video, I'm Maximilian, I help people empower their lives, I help people reprogram their subconscious mind to clear their fears and become the best person that they want to become. Now, reality is all a perception. How you perceive reality, you specifically, you watching this video, how you perceive reality is completely different to how I perceive reality. How I perceive that, now it's, it's just the little the lens for the camera, how I perceive that is different to how you perceive it. Now we may have similar perceptions, but in reality, quote unquote, we're going to see it completely differently. Now we may see colours completely differently, we may see life completely differently. Now I truly believe we all have a purpose here on earth, on, on, on earth as a body, as a consciousness. We're a consciousness, we are a consciousness, that's, that's scientifically proven that we are a consciousness, we're not our body, we're not our name, but we, we listen and we respond to our name, we listen, we respond to our body. So this is where we have to internalise ourselves and self-regulate. This is where we become self, self-loving, self-worthy, enough, grateful, abundant, happy, prosperous, free, whatever it is that you want to be feeling, you have to feel those emotions in order for you to become exactly what it is. If you want wealth, you have to feel wealthy. If you want love, you have to feel loved or you have to feel loving. But you have to know in yourself, truly in yourself, that you feel these emotions. So. If you want your reality to change, you have to change your personality. You have to change who you are in order to change your reality. You have to change what you're doing every day in order to get a different result. Because Einstein once said, if you do the same thing over and over again and expect a different outcome, that is the definition of insanity. So I watched a film the other day called Inception, and I don't know if you've seen it, but it's a very interesting film about reality, about what actually is reality. Now, we can't differentiate between reality and the dream world. There's no there's no practical way that we can actually differentiate in our minds. So for example, if you have a dream and you're being chased, you believe that's real. That's why when you get hit, when you get shot, when you fall, you are at, you, you feel like that's real and you wake up because it's so, it feels so real inside you. So you can actually hack your mind to live in that reality. You can hack your dreams of things like lucid dreaming, astral projection, things like that that can basically take you out of your body. You still have the consciousness, but you're not in your physical body. So our physical body has limits. Our mind does not. Our mind does not have limits. What you can truly think and believe, you can truly make happen. As long as it's within us. It's not making someone else do something. It's not making something else do something. If you want to be able to fly, for example, the Wright brothers created a plane. If you wanted to be able to speak on the phone, Alexandra Graham Bell had to create the phone. He was called crazy initially, but now we take a phone for granted and it's just like, yeah, do you not have a phone? Every single person or majority of people have phones because it's the norm, it's normal. So we need to understand that we don't know what we don't know. We're so unadvanced compared to where we could be. We have to be willing to say to ourselves, I maybe don't know this. I need to expand myself, I need to expand my consciousness, I need to expand myself, my body, my mind, and listen to what could happen. Think about 100 years ago, how much has changed in 100 years? Think about how much changed in the last 10 years alone. So think about what's going to happen in the next 100 years. Anything will be possible. So believe in yourself and you will achieve what you want to achieve. But first of all, you need to understand that your reality right now is based on your perception. Do you want to change your reality? Do you want to be wealthy beyond your dreams? Because there is an alternative reality where you are. But there is an alternative reality where you are in prison. There is an alternative reality where you are about to die. There is an alternative reality where you are living the best life possible. The only way you can get there is if you start to change yourself. If you are around the same people, if you are doing the exact same thing, you're going to get the same result. I don't care how much you believe, how much you say, I'm going to do it, I'm going to be a millionaire, I'm going to be a millionaire, but every single person that you're around is saying, we don't do it, people like us just don't achieve that, and then you're saying to yourself, oh that's very true actually, nothing will change, in order for things to change, you've got to change, so understand that if you live your reality right now, whether you will die and then you wake up from a dream, if that happens, who cares as long as you live on purpose, because 
my my perception is consciousness is forever there's no such thing as death the consciousness is always there this is why when you meet someone you get on very well with them you have potentially seen them in a past life you have potentially come across them within your consciousness you have potentially come across them some some in in space and time somewhere that you get on with them so well and you feel like you already know them. When you see deja vus, you've been there before, maybe in a parallel reality, maybe in a different time zone, maybe when you were a different person in a past life. Now, it's all based on your beliefs and what you perceive life to be at the end of the day. I'm not telling you I'm right, I'm not telling you you're wrong. I'm right in my opinion and you're probably right in your opinion. But if you don't, if you're not willing to change, nothing will change. So be willing to change, be willing to step outside of the normal and step outside of who you are and become who you want to be. So understand that, like I said, with the dreams in Inception, it's all about your dreams. You can go into dreams and have a dream and a dream and a dream and it just goes on and on forever. You don't know what reality is because you can't explain reality. Yeah, reality is real. What does real mean? There's no, there's no end definition of real. So reality is the state of things as they actually exist. What does exist mean? Is it like there's there's just it's endless. It really is endless. So the only way that you can live your purpose is if you do what you're here to do in this lifetime. Now, whether it's a dream, whether it's not, whether it, this is your only life you get, whether it's not, it doesn't matter. As long as you live on purpose, that's all that matters. If you're doing something that you truly love to do, because we base everything we do in love or fear. If we're with someone that we love to spend time with, that's in, obviously in place of love. If we're doing something that we genuinely enjoy to do, we enjoy doing it because we love to do it. Now, anything that is a positive emotion stems back to love. Anything that's a negative emotion stems back to fear. For example, anxiety, depression, um, any sort of disorder, maybe OCD. You're fearful that things aren't in the right place. When you're anxious, you're fearful that if you leave where you feel comfortable, something bad's going to happen. But all you need to do, which I know it sounds simple, is change your emotions. Change how you feel inside yourself. Your outside life will change. Now, a lot of people say they need to see it to believe it. Whereas everyone in the quantum physics world, everyone in the law of attraction world, they understand the spirituality world. You need to feel it before you can see it. You need to become it. Like I said, if you want to feel your wealth, if you want wealth, you have to feel it first. If you want happiness, you have to feel happy first. I truly don't believe that there is one form of science that is correct. There's so many different that have correct outcomes, but you have to be open to listening to all of them. They said that it wasn't possible to do what quantum physics has done, but it's done it now. They said it wasn't possible to fly, but it's been done. So every time the world develops, the world gets bigger, the world expands, our consciousness expands, we become new people and we start to do different things and improve our lives, the lives for others as well. So how you live your life is completely down to you. I can't tell you how to live your life. You can't tell me how to live my life. Now, people can be controlled, manipulated and told what to do. But at the end of the day, we have a conscious mind. We can get ourselves out of there. And there's people that have been in way worse situations that I'm in, way worse situations that you're in, or maybe whatever it is, wherever you are, whether you're down here, whether you're up here, it doesn't matter where you start. All that matters is that you take control of your conscious mind, start to reprogram the subconscious mind and become who you need to become in order to live the life that you need to live. And that is just living on purpose. When you're doing something that you love every single day, when you're happy doing what you do the majority of the time, because it's not sustainable to do it every single, to be happy every single day. There's going to be days where you're sad. There's going to be days where things go wrong. But if you're doing something that you love to do the majority of the time and you're happy the majority of the time, you are living on purpose. So make it your mission to find out what it is that you love to do. And you don't have to find it today. You don't have to find it tomorrow. You may find it in 20 years. Everything happens at the right time. I'm very lucky in where I am and I believe that all the stuff that went wrong in my life pushed me quickly towards my purpose, pushed me quicker towards what I wanted to do because if that stuff wouldn't have happened, I'd still be in the same place where I was, be taking drugs, I'd be unhappy, I'd be anxious, I'd be depressed because I didn't know anything else. I didn't, I wasn't forced to change. I was in a comfortable but a bad place, but I was comfortable enough to stay there. When I had to change, that's when I got up and I got out and I said, I need to make a change. And that's when I started taking small steps and the process is part of it. If you go from here to here within a day, things may not be as planned and there may be things that go wrong. I believe the process is part of it. Doing the things that you need to do in order to become the person is very powerful. So perceive reality how you perceive it. Don't let anyone tell you that yours is wrong because it's not. As long as you believe that there's 
mystical opportunities that are out there and things that can happen because it's proven to be hap it's proven to happen it's scientifically proven to be happening right now so in a day we live in now being naive is actually a choice because you could say well i don't want to read that i don't want to know about that i don't believe that that's true if you're not opening yourself up to it then you are being naive to it so at least try it first before you completely disregard it so I hope this video has helped you out and given you some inspiration, maybe even something for you to look into. And I highly recommend looking into quantum physics, quantum mechanics, um, entanglement. There's so, uh, quantum entanglement. There's so many different things you can look into. Ask me in the comments below. Ask me something that you might you might have a question about. I'd be more than happy to answer it. I'm still on my journey. I'm always going to be on my journey. I just want to spread the message that I'm learning to you guys to help you out and make it simple because I like things to be simplified. <laughs> so have an absolutely amazing day. Keep on smiling, keep spreading love, keep spreading kindness and keep living your reality however you believe it to be.